13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, ready or not, here I come. Well, uh... <coughs> Caroline, dinner's almost ready. I'll be there in a second, Mom. Is Willa staying for dinner? I thought her brother was supposed to be coming. Maybe you missed the bus. I'm sure he'll be here. Oh, well, why don't you call your mother and make sure you can stay? Well, his mother's passed away. Oh, well... Lucky me, I get to have dinner with someone named Willa. Uh, me and Willa tied in a spelling bee contest today. You won? We tied for eighth place. Getting better. Is my sister here? Yeah, hold on a sec. This would be cool in your time capsule. supposed to cry when I do that, you idiot. I'm trying to help you get tough, Willa. I know. I'm sorry. I'll do it again, okay? <coughs> I hope you find this time capsule in a hundred years. And I hope you are a being from another planet. Somebody who will ride the galactic waves of the star nation. Like the Silver Surfer. Will found us on the bus. Hey, that's state of the art. Put it in the time capsule. Oscar likes my company so much he's keeping me on nights. Can you hang with looking after things a bit longer? 
What's it worth to you? Swift kick in the bazooka? Oh, ha! Oh, Bazooka. This is me, but it doesn't really look like me. I'm the one on. The left. Oh, don't put that one in. I want to look at it. Okay. So she dreams animal protesters close me down. <laughs> Did your wife ever try and change your whole life because of a dream? <laughs> my wife, my wife used to Vegan talk Vegan burgers was... on my menu, place would be crawling with hairy-legged people smelling like vitamins, wearing Birkendorf's cheese. Uh, hey, that's the way the cheese melts. <laughs> hey, that's the way the burger flips. <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> hey, um... Could you get me a few more hours, Oscar? Oh, sorry, Bill. 30's all I got. And that's the way the soda pops. Did you see the game last night? Yeah, I was there. At least Martinez went three for four. Yeah, but you gotta look at the ribbies. I mean, he's got, what, 35 ribbies for the year? No, ribbies or not, the guy was batting champion for two years in a row. No, he isn't. Tony Gwynn was batting champion last year. No, 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 no. Basket, please. Martinez. Um, no, it was Tony Gwynn. I'm right. You covered me at the community clinic for three days. Oh, no way I'm giving up three days for that clinic, Vince. <laughs> no, you're right, and I'll, uh, I'll do your emergency rotations for a month. All right, come on, Michael. Somewhere beneath that cautious exterior lurks a reckless gambler. Oh, you think I'm crazy enough to give away my free time on a baseball stat? All right. Just as long as you clear, it's Martinez. It was Gwyn. Seems like I just can't stop wheezing today. Yeah, well, uh, this should make you breathe a little easier, Mr. O'Neill. It's called Sefton, and it's an antibiotic for bronchitis. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Did I miss something? It's routine with new volunteers. Please, don't take it personally. It's been a while since I had my papers graded. Look at our price list, please. Our patients can't possibly afford the medication you prescribed. Spell Mississippi? Mm. She's 
Jim Paris to having a friend's dad for a doctor. Oh. Well, this will be just between you and me, okay? Okay, I want you to um, push against this hand hard as you can, okay? Hard as you can. You left handed? Yeah. All right. Tail of the tape. Where is it? They usually have one around here. Uh, it's uh, usually uh, a wall or uh, is, is this uh, Jack and the Beanstalk? <laughs> Willie, you want to come stand here? Just put your back against the wall. Okay, why don't you get up on the scale? Not a big appetite, huh? Oh, it must be my cooking. <laughs> well, let's uh, do some tests, all right? <clears throat> Lynetta? All right. Yeah, I'd like uh, to run a CBC and a urinalysis on Willa Jamison. Follow me, Willa. We'll let them go. Ah, she's a good kid. Uh, she, uh, she likes your girl, too. You want to... Uh... So you have a son? Uh-huh. Mm, me too. He's going on 16. Oh, is that right? Mine just turned 11. Oh. So what do you find more challenging, the boys or the girls? Come on, I've been lucky. They're both pretty good kids. Are you a satellite fan? <laughs> I lived on those burgers all through med school. Yeah, we kind of live on them now. Mm -hmm. I work there. Mm. Uh, has Willa had any recent surgery? No. Any um, accidents with loss of blood? Is there any anemia in your family? No. What did your wife die of? Cancer. Seven months ago. God, I don't see how I could raise my two kids on my own. How's it going? Yeah, cross my eyes once in a while, but they come first no matter what, right? So is there something wrong with her? Well, I don't know. I want to see some numbers. I sure would appreciate it if you could deal with us now. No offense, I learned the hard way. Sometimes doctors don't do all they can. Well, let's just see what the tests say. If Willa had a broken arm from playing too hard, that'd be one thing. But headaches, a little kid shouldn't be getting them. Not at this age. Let's just see what the numbers say first, OK? Yeah. And we'll see. Food, 35, rent, 250, uh, utilities. Can't sleep, huh? It's hot in there. So when are you going to bury that? Space capsule. When we get a house again. Gonna put your skateboard in there? No. I decided I couldn't live without that. <laughs> How are we doing? Broke or busted? Take your pick. We'll make it. Did the doctor say Willa was going to be all right? He took some tests. We'll have to see. Don't worry. We're not going to let anything bad happen to her, right? Yeah. Hmm. Plant's got to be hiring sooner or later. What would you do? I'd be a rookie wiping down cars. That isn't right. You're better than that. Well, you think I should be running the company, huh? I'll find something better to tide us over. Can I help? Hey, you keep looking after your sister. That'll help. Let me take care of the work front, OK? You should learn about cyberspace. Then you could get a good job. 
You should learn about cyberspace. Teach me what you know. Mama's gonna fix this. This is weird. Sometimes I look around a corner and I think I see her coming towards me. Like she was here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll see what I can do. Not great, but it's 40 hours. Daytime. Good, because we missed you at night. Good luck, Dad. Okay. You get the job. I think the concept is to open it. See you guys later. I was thinking, if we had a solar cell, we could get all our energy from the sun. And we could grow our own vegetables. And we wouldn't need much money. That's a good idea. Look after your sister. You can use me as a character reference if you want to. Yeah, come on in. You have no direct retail experience. Not exactly. I, I'm kind of a, a jack of all trades. I, uh, you are currently employed. Flipping burgers, making nothing. Used to make sixteen dollars an hour. You have no high school on... diploma. No. Put, put in seventeen years on an assembly line, a weld line. But hey, I can do this job. Right. No. No question. Well, we'll keep in touch. <clears throat> I, I do have skills. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. Thank you. We'll call you. Uh, we're offering samples as an incentive for people to buy. I'll take one. Spice is good. I'll take one of those too. $39.37. Uh, could you take 35? You're gonna have to put something back. Oh. Sorry. Never catch me taking a hand out. That's what's wrong with this country. No one wants to work for a living. We thank thee, O Lord, for that which thou hast sent us. Keep our lives in sweet accord with thine omnipotence. Amen. Amen. It was a dark 
and stormy night when a band of robbers were sitting around a campfire talking. One of the robbers said, Leader, tell us a story. And so he began. Bit bus for bark, born bite with a bunch of robbers, bridging around a vampire barking. When bubble bubble robbers bear, beaver, bell bus for boy, bamboo, beaver, beaver. Began. beaver, bell bus for boy, bamboo, began. Kit cuz a cart can corky kite when a can of coppers can a can of coppers when a can of coppers can, 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 when a can of coppers <laughs> we're getting around a campfire caulking when come here coppers can kick up can go go glory can go give me ya did does the dark and dormy die to the dan the dauber to hit the down damp die are docking then the dauber dead deeder they'll dust the door dan do Fifth was for fight for me, fight for punch for fight for fun, 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 <laughs> That's one eye. He lose. I win. Want any more? Uh, uh, one eye. Get out of here with your one eye. No, no, I dusted you, play. girl. You lose. No. You lose. lose. Robbie, uh, you can have it now. But what are you going to do tomorrow? We've got to do it out a little longer. I wish Mama was coming back. She is, isn't she? No. I know. Will you read me a Silver Surfer comic? I'm doing this. How come you just don't use paper? It'll decompose. I want this to last a hundred years. Listen to this. Did you write it? Listen. This is a time capsule from planet Earth. Maybe in a hundred years you'll find time capsules from other planets where the Silver Surfer rides the galactic waves. I think you probably will. They never thought we'd walk on the moon a hundred years before. But I thought of you guys traveling to lots of other suns and other planets. So if you ever wondered if we thought it possible, I did. Good night, Bill. Good night, Oscar.
Where are you going, Robbie? None of your business. Dad's gonna be mad if he finds out you're cutting school. I'm not doing anything bad. Besides, who's gonna tell him? Okay. Pick me up at Caroline's, okay? Can I get that for you? <laughs> sure, it's a brown Jeep wagon here. <laughs> hey, Angus. Did you miss me, honey? You good little oh. guy. That's Angus. He's a good dog. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in school? I'm a homeschooler. Here you go, young man. Thank you. No problem. You get the food, and I'll get the tablecloth. You can be the princess. What should I get? Anything you want. You're the princess. Let the Queen's banquet begin. Here, here. <laughs> Let's take this magic tea. Okay. No first. Something awfully spooky going on around here. All reports confirm that the world is witnessing an unprecedented shower of meteors. At observatories, astronomers are. See you tomorrow. Okay. Willa, huh? do you want to take these home with you? Yeah. Thanks. I'll drive you on the way to the hospital. Okay, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. they give you dinner? Yeah. I broke the bag. I must have left it in this car. Wait, I'll get it. Hey! Hey! Wait! My sister forgot her book bag. Oh! oh I'm sorry. You're the doctor she saw, right? That's right. Yeah. She stays sick. She doesn't get better. Is she supposed to? Well, I expect her to. Why, you seem concerned. Well, you know, she coughs all night. Keeps me up. Excuse me. Millerton here. Dr. Green tell the agent emergency right I'm on my way. 
Look, I gotta get to the hospital, but listen, why don't you tell your dad to bring her by the clinic tomorrow and I'll see what I can do, okay? Okay. Take care. I think your father thinks I put you up to working in the free clinic. Mm, well, he probably thinks he trained me better than to give my skills away. Oh, uh, I didn't tell you I saw Carolyn's friend Willow and her father at the clinic. What's he like? I think it was hard for him to be there. I saw Willow take some food today. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I didn't let her know that I saw her, but I don't know if that was the right thing. Maybe I should have talked to her. I don't know what I'd say, though. It makes me want to have her here for every meal, every single day. I wish there was a mom, you know, someone to relate to. Yeah, well, her brother's really worried about her. Hey, there he is. Just right over here in the corner. Slim pickings on the cans today. Can you see this kid? He's got something on the ball. Guess that'll repair. I'm thinking of building a solar cell where you could get all your energy from the sun. How much energy do you think one family would need? Is that car out there yours, Gus? That'll beat her, yeah, right so. What are you gonna do with it? Bound for the junkyard. If it was mine, I'd get it running. I bet you could sell it for at least a hundred bucks. I can get 150 from the junk man. Could it run? I thought you knew something about fixing cars. Blue Book's maybe a couple foul if you chariot it up. What'd you do with the money? Buy drugs? Nah, you can make that an hour selling stuff on the street, right? Nice to see a kid who's straight. Want to be partners in on it? Partners? What's a partnership? I own the beater. I got the know-how. Janison? Janison? Willa Janison. No shows. Is there an outreach person that can check up on them? Or? People move. They don't tell you. Most don't have telephones. We serve a pretty transient population. Tillis? Can I see this? Cafe call? Kids still crossing your eyes. You're lucky you found me here. I usually work nights. I'm working a double shift. That's why we couldn't make the appointment. Did you find something about Willa? Is there some place we can go talk in private? Well, I just uh, wanted to let you know that uh, the blood tests showed that. Will is really anemic. Now, her hematocrit is at 28, and the normal range is between 38 and 48. And her white blood cell count is low. Uh, what's that mean? Well, her immune system is weak, which makes her vulnerable to infection. See, now, all these things point to her not getting enough iron. See, Will's problem seems to be related to poor nutrition. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, every single day of my life. Yeah, well, kids at this age are g growing and developing so rapidly that uh, any period of time without adequate nutrition can have long-lasting implications. You know? I mean, we can't make up for that. So, uh, what can be done about this? 
Is there a, a problem here? Yeah, I'm an inadequate provider. Well, why don't you say something? Like, hey, buddy, can you spare a dime? <laughs> Look, I'm not a social worker. I've never done this before. Why'd you come here? Well, your kid is a friend of my kid. I gotta get back to work. Look, these are iron pills, and she needs to take them twice a day with food. I mean, they're hard on an empty stomach. So. I'm not sure I can cover these. Oh, uh, well, don't worry about it. I appreciate you wanting to help my family, but I want to help my family. Now, maybe I shouldn't expect someone like yourself to understand how I got into a situation like this, but a year ago, I had a house, a good job, the whole nine yards. I'm not a bum. the weekend warrior. The guy's 43, 30 pounds overweight, hasn't played basketball in 20 years. Goes up for a rebound, breaks his ankle. Some doctor tells him, hey, exercise, it'll make you feel better. Can you imagine? It's good he got a second opinion. So, where have you been, partner? Hmm? <laughs> well? Well, what? <laughs> you see it on my face. What, that ingrown hair? Guilt. I'm feeling guilty, Michael. You can cancel the bet, and then you miss your family. You know, I'll finish. Oh, Michael. Michael, you're a man of honor. I thank you for the two days. My girlfriend thanks you. I said you. I'll finish. Now you're liking it there, huh? <laughs> Where do you live, Robbie? Around town. Live with your parents, though? Kinda. Huh? I live in the Star Nation. The what? That's what the Indians call the sky. All right. From now on, I'm gonna call you Robbie Skywalker. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this freaking thing warm. What's it for? I got this wicked earache. <clears throat> I tried cold and that don't work, so... Just wish Rudy was here to blow in my ear. Earaches are what little kids get, Angela. Gotta go. So, is it tight enough, Gus? Yeah, it's tight enough, but you got the firing order screwed up. Are you listening to me, Goofus? Do you want something? Pay attention. Feel like an idiot. So, what are you gonna do with the money when we sell this? I mean, F, F. Thought I'd get Angela a new set of spark plugs. Get her in first gear. Just hanging out with that jerk, Rudy. Just is on his butt drinking beer and watching TV all day. How many five eights, kid? I figure we get her a makeover, sign her up for dates of destiny. Maybe that way she'll have the guts to dump them. What about you, kid? What are you gonna do? Help my dad. Why? What's wrong with your dad? Nothing. Except my mom died. Sorry, kid. It's a rough break. We ought to bond to this or what? Finished? Yes, sir. Very neat. Now listen, our buses do not speak to the customers unless they're specifically asked for something. The job pays minimum wage. Again, Stephen. Plus a 15% share of the waiter's tips. You are allowed one free meal a day. You'll average about 50 a week above your basic pay. You provide the white shirt, the black tie, the shoes, and the pants and we provide the apron. Can you start Monday? 
What time? Uh, come in at 10. Mr. Taylor, you won't regret it. We did it. You got a new job, Dad? All right, doing what? Playing center field for the Tigers. Oh, come on. How much you get in an hour? Listen to you. I'm working at a pricey downtown restaurant. Whoa. Isn't this from Mom? Uh-huh. You took this to the pawn shop? How much? Never you know mine. Fifteen percent of tips isn't exactly fat city, but you should have seen this place. People put down a lot of money for a meal. Cheapest mm. entry was 22 bucks. It's all right with me if I don't have to hold Willow's hand every night. That's a privilege, boy, not a chore. Yeah, yeah. Table for two. Right this way, sir. Right Take the lady's arm right here. There you go. Menus. So this means we're not poor anymore? Ah, uh, it means we're not going to be hurting for food. So can Caroline come over for dinner? Sure. And now sink your chompers into this. That's well done, just as you ordered, sir. P.U., you sweat too much to be a waiter. Some perspiration on your steak, <laughs> sir. Get out of here. Hey, sit over your body, girl. You got checks, sir. Huh? Batter up. Bottom of the ninth. It's all tied up. Two outs. He goes into the windup. The pitch, and... Oh! He drills it right past him. Ah, and and the they whip the Make sure there are no spots or uh, marks on the dishware, the cutlery, the glassware, okay? Mr. Taylor, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Uh, I'd like to have a word with you, Bill. Uh, Christian, could you retrieve the napkins, please? Yes, sir. I'm all set to go. Where do I start? Well, the owner um, decided to hire someone else, Bill. He did it without telling me, so there's nothing I can do about it now. It's his uh, nephew or something. If it was up to me, I wouldn't... What am I uh, supposed to do with the clothes I bought? You know what they cost me? I don't need them except for this job. You said it was mine. This centerpiece really is annoying. Could you exchange that, please? I would have phoned you, only uh, you didn't have a and telephone. You shouldn't give a man a job, then take it away. I got kids. You better go home now. Sorry. Hi, Robbie. Is 
your dad here? He's over there. Bill? Hey. How's it going? Yeah, Carolyn called and you okay? Yeah. So, what happened? I got stiffed on the job I had lined up. Yeah, and he quit his other job, too. This your conversation, Robbie? Is there anything I can do to help? Well, there's people a lot worse off than us needing help. Yeah, well, you've uh, you've had quite a string of bad luck lately. I mean, there's no shame in getting some help. Help? What do you mean help? I'm no welfare loser. You ever feed your family from a food bank? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling somehow I'm supposed to be accountable to you. Now, what are you trying to embarrass me for in front of my kids? Well, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Carolyn? You better go, hon. Hey, I, I got an idea. Why don't uh, Willa and Robbie and you join us for dinner on Sunday? <laughs> Thanks. No, we'll have a barbecue. Just, uh, <laughs> you know, throw a couple of burgers on. I can't digest charity food. Well, who's talking about charity food? I mean, we get together with uh, parents of our kids' friends all the time. It's no big deal. It's just... No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. Pace yourself. Kid, pace makes a race. Come on, take a break. Man comes into my shop, I can tell right off whether he can go the distance, whether he's worth his salt. What'd you think of me? I said a man. <laughs> You're coming along. Could a man be worth his salt if he didn't have a job? Man's not a man unless he pulls his weight. The way I see it. Yeah. That's the way I see it, too. Sale this time? No claim check? No. 30 bucks. Take it or leave it.
gonna get tough. Hungry. I hate this. You're not supposed to like it. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to trust me to take care of you like I always have. I used to pull down $16.25 an hour. I worked 17 years at that plant. Don't you forget that. Lula's sick all the time. There's never enough to eat. Yeah, well, you're just another mouth to feed. You can't even keep it shut when you ought to. Number 27, number 28. There you go, Philly, you're on your way. Right. All right. Car wash, number 29 and 30. Looks like this is our lucky year. <laughs> God, he's grown so fast. And both of them. I know. It's amazing. So fast. My good father. Aren't you good at everything? It's well I've been around lately. You can't stop thinking about that family. It just doesn't seem right. And I wish we could do something. And Bill doesn't want my help. I can understand that. The guy's proud. He thought I could, you know, ride in on a white horse and extend the hand of friendship and his life would be instantly better. If you give someone something he can't give himself, he can feel bad. Like maybe he's not your equal. You know, sometimes I catch myself saying that. Live it for the grace of God. <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? Yeah, I was born to privilege. I have these skills. I'm not saying that we're not equals or that I'm better, but we're not the same. So what am I saying? When I really think about him, there's no way I could live with what he has to live with every day of his life. But what does that mean? You think you'd die? You're saying that Bill's a better man than you? Yes. You are privileged. 
And you should never forget it. But you can use it. Well, or not. Maybe that's the grace. Oh, Phoebe, do me a favor, would you, and send off a letter to Bill Janison. Just wanted to let you know of a possible job opening here at the hospital. And I'd like to again invite you and your family over to dinner on Sunday, period. Uh, give me a call, sincerely, et cetera, et cetera. Did I miss a partnership meeting, or was I purposely left out of the loop? What's this about a job opening? <clears throat> We're talking about a janitorial job here, Vance. Ah, who's Bill Janison? Oh, he's uh, somebody I've been following at the clinic. Oh, as in patient? That sounds pretty tense. Well, I'm considering staying on there for a while. But don't tell anyone, huh? <laughs> no, I'd like to keep a low profile. Yeah. <laughs> Back to low profile. Well, you know, you start off with one trajectory and you try something different and your colleagues look at you funny. Who gives a shit what your colleagues think? You know, there's enough shame attached to being poor. It's a real drag when the do-gooder has to be ashamed of doing good. Well, hey, you decided to come. Come on in. Come on in. Good to see you, Hi. Bill. Nice to see you. You came. Come on in. We have guests, everybody. Hey, Willa. Looks like we're going to have a party. Um, this is my father, Edward, and my uh, mother, Marion, wife, Dee. Hello. This is Bill Janison and his daughter, Willa, and son, Robbie. Better get three more plates, Kenny. I'll get some more food. Oh, I'll help. Come on, now. Come over here. Who are these people? Well, there's a friend of Caroline's. Michael met her father at the clinic. That community clinic? She goes to Caroline's school? She's a busing student. People from those neighborhoods these days, they're in all sorts of trouble. Dee, is it right exposing Caroline to something like this? What do you mean? It could be upsetting for Caroline. Oh, I just feel bad for the little girl. TB's on the rise among the poor. He doesn't have TB. Hey, what are you two ladies whispering about? Oh, you know us silly women. Just gossiping, gossiping. <laughs> Caroline and Willa are in school together. School up is high this year. <laughs> School taxes have just skyrocketed in the last few years. <clears throat> Marion and I went to the theater the other evening and we saw a blithe spirit. <laughs> it was really very amusing. The rat company did a marvelous job. What was the name of the man that played the lead? I can never remember the name of actors. <laughs> you know the type. He's always playing the anti-hero. Michael, you're good with names. Oh, no. I don't know who he is. Uh, hope it stays nice. The weather says it's supposed to rain. My, my wife always used to say, don't worry about it till it gets here. Where I come from right about now, the, the humidity would be settling in, and uh, you just want to swim in the lake all day. Well, where would that be? Michigan. Kenny, mm -hmm. why don't uh... I think it's a great meal. <laughs> Do 
Two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> it seem to be. Well, I'm real glad you could make it, though. Yeah, nice place you got here. Oh, I thank you. Pay must be pretty good at that clinic, huh? Oh, no, that's, uh, that's volunteer work. Uh, my bread and butter is uh, uh, private practice. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for inviting us uh, and for setting up that, that job interview. Um, so what kind of a job is it? Um, I don't know. I think it's service-oriented. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't ask if you had any special skills. <laughs> special skills? <laughs> uh, jack of all trades. So uh, it's nice, me uh, having a little extra pull here. Oh, well, I wish I did, but uh, there's no guarantees. It's just giving you your best shot. Uh, in the interim, if there's anything I can do, I'd really like to help. Uh, probably should have taken you up on that last time. Well, the offer still stands. I appreciate it. But we'll be all right. So, um, <clears throat> what'd you do before you, you came here? I went into the GM auto plant, just like my dad. Granddad, uncle, 17 years. Never went on disability, never cheated the system. Worked my butt off. Well lined. Well lined? We put the frames together. So what happened? Robot got my job. <laughs> Company downsized and uh, well, they didn't need me. They didn't need me, they didn't need any of us. Uh, I took the buyout and my wife got sick and uh, no health insurance. I thought I could do better out here. Fresh start and all, but now, uh, we don't have a pot to piss in. But hey, you know, that's, that's the breaks. But you, you know how, how uh, you're brought up to think that a, a father's a breadwinner first. You know, and then a situation like this don't do much for your self-respect in that department. <laughs> Hell, uh, yeah, I don't know myself anymore. Uh, Before we came here, uh, we hadn't eaten since yesterday. And I never thought something like this would ever happen. I work all my life, and uh, now I can't provide for my family. That'd be something, huh? You and me, fellow lunch buckets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. That line right over there. Right over there. This can be filed on the same day. Make sure you fill it out and sign right at the X's, okay? Okay. Next, how you doing today? This is my first time applying for food stamps. Do you have any children? Yeah. Okay, you're in the wrong line. This is GR. You need AFDC over there. 
I don't understand. This, okay, this we're man... general relief. You need aid to families with dependent children. Over there. Thanks. Next. <laughs> when do we get the food stamps? You have to be interviewed by a caseworker to determine your eligibility. And when's that happen? Three weeks after you receive your application, and then uh, another 10 days after your process before you actually receive the food stamps. So we can eat in four to five weeks. Next in line, please. My girl's sick. The medical line is over From there. From not eating enough. If you can prove you don't have any money at all, you can get emergency food stamps within five days. Next in line, please. You've recently sold quite a lot of assets, Mr. Janison. Your house, your car. No, that money's long gone. We'll need to look at bank statements, closing statements, bills of sale, etc., for verification. Uh, the money went to pay hospital bills, and uh, I don't have a bank account. We'll need to see proof. It's all going to be compared to the numbers in the computer where we can try. You think I'm a thief? We have to abide by federal rules, Mr. Janison. So you're saying you're destitute? Do you have any cash on hand? Well, we can't get you any food stamps today. We'll have to schedule another appointment tomorrow to approve expedited food stamps. We'll need a set of fingerprints. We'll see what your numbers come up with. Number 12. Hi. Thanks. Uh, do you have a card on file? No. Is this your first time? I'm picking up for a friend. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We don't allow that here. Your friend will have to come down in person. No, you would only he's sick. You got a, a bum ticker. We do outreach. Where does he live? Um. It's for my family. How many in your family? Three. I wouldn't be down here if it wasn't for my kids. I understand. Now, what's your name? Bill Jamison. They shut down the plant where I worked. I know, it's happening all over. Do you have cooking facilities? Yeah. Now, take this choice sheet and fill it out and go to that line up over there and they'll take care of you. This is just temporary. Don't worry about it. Thanks. We thank thee, O Lord, for that which thou hast sent us. Keep our lives in sweet accord with thine omnipotence. Amen. So we're not better than this. It's not so bad, Robbie. You said we didn't need to do this. Don't. You said we were better than this. Don't start. It's not so bad, Robbie. You lied. 
liar. What did I lie about? You said we would never take handouts. Carburetor's beat to hell. Can we fix it? Nah, it's throwing good money after bad. How much do we need? Rebuilt? Oh, Jesus. A hundred more, probably. We gotta sell this car. <laughs> hey, kid, where are you going? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought you were looking for work. I thought you were in school. A lot you care. How long has it been since you've been gone? Three weeks. So all this time you've been lying to me? Don't you care anymore about yourself? No, I don't care. Duck bread. Look at the way we live. I don't want to live like this anymore. We live like this because we don't have any choice. But it's going to change. Yeah, well, it's changing for the worse. Man's not a man unless he handles his weight. Instead of flapping your gums at me, you should be doing something to better yourself. I am doing something. What? What are you doing? You're doing nothing. You're just a bum. Just another mouth you can't feed. Clean yourself up and go back to school. I'll go back if you get a job. You need me to take you back? Dr. Michael Millerton referred me. Um, do you have your application with you? Yeah. There's a lot of turnover in service. Um, we might have an opening in three weeks or so. I'll keep this on file. Thank you. Hey, Bill. How'd it go? She said she'd keep my application on file. Maybe in a few weeks it'll work out. Yeah, maybe it won't. Look, suppose I float you alone. Wouldn't be right. Well, it's not a question of right or wrong. It's about the kids. I know you're struggling. You don't know nothing about it. Well, I know your kids are hurting. Want to read a comic book? Where are you today, Robbie? Sorry I didn't meet you at the bus stop. Come on, Willa. I'll show you something. It's a secret. What? 
God promised not to tell. The surprise will be so great. I couldn't tell you sooner because I know you can't keep a secret for that long. Can too. Anyway, I'm telling you now because the beater is going to sell any minute. And, and someone's gonna buy it? Of course they will. It's a sure thing. Wait here. Hey, Skywalker. Hey, good news, kid. He's really gonna buy it? Been honking in my ear trying to get me down on the price, but he finally gave in. Picking it up tonight. How much? 1855 bucks. <laughs> Come by tomorrow. We'll split it up. All right. Hello, Gus's. Flashlights on the floor. Hey, what's the deal here? What are you doing? Hey, what are you, crazy? Hey, look, I, and I, I didn't hire you, did I? I didn't hire you. You need anybody? I'm looking for work. I need a job. Usually you wait till you're hired. Who's that? Huh? What do you say to him, Angela? What are you going to say to him? I'm not going to tell him. Angela. I can't. No, forget You've it. Got I'm not going to tell take him. Responsibility for okay, this look. One. None of this would have happened if you'd let Rudy move in in the first place, all Come right? Come on, Angela. You sold it, Gus? Good news and bad news, kid. Good news is, bad news ain't the end of the world. She just didn't see the guy coming, kid. Who? I'm really sorry, Robbie. There was an accident. I had to go see Rudy, right? And he couldn't come and see me, and I didn't have any way to get there. I was just gonna bore it for an hour. It was an accident, kid. Thank God nobody got hurt, right? I'm really sorry. Can't we fix it up? How bad could it be? Come here, kid. We'll do another one, okay? No, you don't understand. Here, here's the 20. Take it. Hey, come by tomorrow. I'll have some more soda cans for you, okay? Hey, That's, get! Is that my car? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, listen! I'll give you a little more when I junk it, okay, partner? Right, partner?
You okay, Robbie? You want to read a comic book to me? You want, you want to go play in the hall? You can scare me and I won't cry. Tell me one about our secret, Robbie. Talk to me, Robbie. Say something. I didn't used to be like this, Robbie. Daydreaming on the job? Oh, right, sorry. You know, we tried out three guys just this week. Now, let's go fill out the paperwork. Excuse me? You got yourself a full-time job, buddy. You could use somebody around here who hustles like you do. Come in here. Oh, God. Oh, Robbie. Call an ambulance. 
Search quick! That's my son. I don't know if I can handle this alone. He was always such a happy kid. Do you know why he did this? He must have thought I'd given up. Maybe I did for a while. Is he going to be all right? We just have to wait and see. Robbie? Hey, Rob, can you hear me? You're okay, Robbie. Robbie. Everything's gonna be okay. Took your money. We can make this right. I love you. I'm always going to be there for you. Hungry, Dad. Want some corn on the cob? Mm. Remember, you're the princess. <laughs> Want some more tea? <laughs> 